Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe so that you can receive all of my weekly updates. Okay, the topic that we are going to discuss today is challenges while you're in nursing school. And really, it can be challenges while you're in any type of school. You could be in law school, medical school, you know, it really pertains to anyone. But of course, specifically, I'm going to be discussing challenges that I personally have encountered while I'm in nursing school. And just in case if you can't see my shirt, I know you see part of it, but you know, one theme that I really go by when I really need to push myself is just do it. That's what my shirt says. So anyway, um, as we all know, there are many challenges that you, I, so many people encounter and you just really have to know how to handle your situations and really push yourself through. So um, one of the, one of my first challenges I'll say is there's always so much con content, too much content, one would think, but um, when you're learning each semester, you know, it's normally broken up in 14 to 15 weeks, depending on your school. And there's a lot of content that normally has to be covered every week. So my piece of advice for that is if it's your OB and your um, pediatrics rotation, you want to really focus on just exactly what it is that you're studying for that 14 or 15 week semester. And I say that because a lot of people get so wrapped up in trying to remember everything from semester one, semester two, semester three, and they try and bring all those different disease processes into the semester that they're currently in. And it doesn't always work that way. Um, nursing school covers everything from head to toe, but your focus should be on what that semester is about. So, you know, when you're in OB or um, pediatrics, you may be on the floor with mother baby. You're not going to go over certain disease processes with mother baby that maybe you learn from geriatrics, which is in fundamentals. You know, well, certain things pertain, you know, knowing your heart rates and your respirations and oxygen levels. Of course, that's normal 101 nursing. But, you know, again, you're not going to be treating someone who has a hip replacement while they're delivering a baby. Can it happen? Of course. Yes, it can happen. But the reality of it is it doesn't necessarily happen at that time. So try and focus on exactly what you're learning and because that's what you're going to be tested on. You're going to be tested on what you're learning right then and there, you know, not for the most part something you learned last semester or if you haven't learned it yet, you shouldn't be tested on it. Um, not being able to retain all of the information is another, you know, challenge. Um, for me, it's a challenge, definitely, because sometimes you don't know, do you need to know every single thing that we're reading um, from beginning to end? You know, we receive hundreds of pages of PowerPoints every week. So that is so much information to cover, let alone retain. So you just really have to look at the key points that your professor instructs you on. Um, normally they tell you what type, what pages you need to focus on. They tell you if you need to focus on key points in the back of the book, in the middle of the book. You know, you really have to take the time to understand what it is your professor is going to be looking for from you as a student. And you want to really just try and understand that part so that you can learn the way your professor wants you to learn. Um, and that brings me to your exams, which normally for me, 
I get high level of anxiety right before the first exam. And I'm not normally anxious, but that is something completely normal for you to feel when you're in school, when you're in college, when you're in nursing school. So I get very anxious because your new semester that you're just now meeting this new professor, you have no idea how they test you or the type of exams they administer to you. So, you know, I really try and cram as much knowledge into my studying for that first exam because I'm unsure how my professor is going to present their questions. And that's what you really want to focus on and learn once you have that first exam. Where did your professor get the questions from? Did they pull it from a test data bank? Did they pull it from, you know, the back of the book or the back of each chapter? You know, did they pull it from PowerPoints? And normally most professors are pretty good with explaining where they got their information from um, or where you should focus your information. So hopefully, hopefully you have a professor that at least, you know, guides you that way. Or do they provide a study guide prior to your exam? That's always so important. Um, I know for the most part, while I'm in nursing school now, most of my professors did provide study guides because it's a tool that helps. It helps guide you to know which information you should really be focusing on. Again, just for that semester. Um, everything else, you'll you'll have to go back and refresh. Yes, it, it, you will have to do that, especially for your NCLEX exam. But try and focus on what you're doing at that moment during that semester. That is like my biggest tip. Um, that's what really helped get me through to the point where I'm at now. Um, another challenge is definitely my study technique. And again, I'm in my fifth semester, so um, I really feel like I have changed up my study techniques almost every semester. I did something different. You know, when I first started, you know, I was so excited and I pretty much stayed on my couch, studied in my room, studied in my office. No one saw me the first semester and really going into the second semester. I didn't care who had a party coming up. I didn't care whose birthday, whose dinner plans. Um, my study technique was I studied all the time for hours. and. That's great, that's that's wonderful, but eventually I started coming up with different, you know, different study habits, um, how I write my notes, you know, highlighting specific things that your professor will tell you is needed, you know, while you're in the classroom. Don't try and go back to it. As soon as they say it's you should know this, you highlight that so that you know when you go back to that page. Anything that's highlighted is something that the professor said you should know. Um, writing my notes, again, was definitely key. And when it came down to studying as the semesters went on, and again, I didn't study 100% all the time, but now my study technique is planned out by the week. You know, what did we go over in lecture? the two days that I'm in school. You know, if I'm in school 1.30 and I'm out by 3.30, maybe I'll use one hour to two hours after class to study, or I may try and study prior to going to school. You know, on my school days, I don't really emphasize studying as much. I may only give myself one hour or two hours because then it's you don't wanna feel like you're doing too much in addition to going to school and listening to lecture. So on certain days, if I don't work, I may study three, four hours, sometimes longer. Um, if it's a day where I do work, I'm pretty much exhausted by the time I get home um, because I do work 12 hour shifts. So by the time I get home and get showered, it's 8 p.m. 
I try and have my computer in front of me to do some studying, but it doesn't work out that way. I'm falling asleep. So I know that a work day is not a study day for me. But if you just learn to plan when you're going to study and what you're going to study during that week, you know, have it set up in your calendar as you as you study certain topics, you check it off. Then you know that you already covered it. So that definitely is key. Um, and really the last point that I really want to say or the last tip is just really be confident in yourself. You know, we didn't get here in nursing school just on a whim. We all got here because we're supposed to be here. You didn't do that application because you, you're not sure if you want to be a nurse, but I'll just test it out. No, you already know it's going to take a lot for you to succeed, for me to succeed, for us to do this specialty. You know, this is one of the hardest journeys I've ever had to do, aside from respiratory school. Respiratory was a specialty. Pulmonary system, heart and lungs, airway, breathing, circulation. Okay, that's all a part of nursing as well, but for respiratory, it was one specialty. Now that I'm in nursing school, we're talking from head to toe. Disease processes, your endocrine system, your lymphatic system, your muscles, you know, there's so much that we have to cover while in nursing school, which is not an easy task, but it can be done. You just have to be confident in what you do. You have to learn, you have to study. You know, I think there was one example for myself where I felt like I knew all of the information um, for a specific test that we were that was coming up. And I studied, but I also had, you know, um, I was invited to go to some type of party. So it took away from my study time the weekend of an exam coming up. And Needless to say, I didn't really study as much as I normally do. You know, I, I would have my flashcards, you know, definitions, just understanding whatever it was that I was learning during that specific um, semester. But, you know, when I didn't put as much study time into my work, I could definitely see a difference in my exam. You know, one exam, I maybe got a 92, and then that next exam where, you know, I didn't study as much, it dropped into the 80s. So, you know, still decent grades, but I knew why I got that grade that I received for that second test. So, with that being said, just really stay confident in yourself, stay confident in your studies, be strong. You know, we, again, are here to provide a service you know, we're going to be given care, love, compassion to these patients and their family. And hopefully, you know, what you do in nursing school and then what you learn once you become a nurse will make you and I a great nurse. Um, that's my goal. I'm not saying a great nurse because I just know what I want to bring forward to the table. I don't want to signify myself as a great nurse. I just want to do a great job. I want to do and provide a great service. So with that being said, I am going to end this right now. But again, just keep striving, keep pushing and do the best that you can, you know, do the best that you can to succeed. Um, know what your grading policies are for each semester for your classes. Don't get behind. And if you do get behind, do whatever it takes to push yourself forward. You know, we all make mistakes. Everyone doesn't pass every single class, um, but you can get up and keep going. So I hope you all are having a great week. And I definitely want you to like and subscribe. Remember, I got to keep saying that, but I hope that you will have a wonderful week. And I hope to talk with you soon.